Kuya Mark, paano naman kung yung kontrata ng lessee and lessor sa pag-occupy ng property ay only two years? Tapos sumobra na ng two years, naka-occupy pa rin si lessee. O automatic ba? Pero hindi na siya nagbabayad ah, within, that two year, ah, within the um, coming okay. years. May karapatan ba siyang uh, mag-grade yung contract? Actually, for example, na pag expired ang kontrata, for example, two years contract, na expired na, naka-occupy pa rin doon si lessee. Ano may epekto sa batas? Tapos ang kontrata mo, nandiyon ka pa rin. Hindi ka mapidalis ni Lesor. Pag nandiyon pa si Lesi, kahit tapos ang kontrata, ibig sabihin may implied contract of lease. But the implied contract of lease, nakadepende yun sa mode of payment. Kung ang mode of payment is annually, for example, yearly ka nagbayad, 100,000 per year, ibig sabihin may implied contract of lease na one year. Kung ang, ang mode of payment mo is Uh, per month, nagbayad ka per month, may implied contract of lease na one month. One month, month to month basis. For example, one month, nandiyan ka pa rin, oh, so one month contract. Mm. Hindi ka pwede pa paalisin kasi naka-occupy naka ka doon ng limang, ta limang araw. Hindi ka pwede paalisin on the six day kasi expired na. Kasi pag nag-occupy ka na ng, ng another five days of the contract at expired na, may implied contract of lease ng one year. Kung month to month, oh, one month, kung month to month, uh, monthly ang bayad mo. After one month, nandyan ka pa rin, ibig sabihin, may implied contract of lease for another one month. So, ano yun ang ibig sabihin ng implied contract of lease? Mm. 